All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Music Theory Channel. Uh, I apologize, I've been slacking off. I get yelled at by Strawberry Seventeen last night, and so here is another video. This video, we are going to talk about major scale construction. Um, we are going to look at the major scale, which is the basis of all tonal harmony in Western music. You've heard it a million times. You've seen The Sound of Music. There's your C major scale. So a C major scale, it would be a major scale that starts and ends on C. And you'll notice that the C major scale is just made up of all the white keys played sequentially, starting from C and going up the keyboard. So you can take a second and play that if you like. Now what I'd like to do is figure out really what are the elements of the C major scale, what makes up a C major scale. So I want to look at the pattern of whole steps and half steps that make up this scale. Now hopefully you remember whole steps and half steps from last week. If not, you should go back and review that video before you continue on this one. So if we look, first we start off with a C to a D, which is a whole step. Next we go from a D to an E, which is a whole step. Next we move to an F, which is a half step. G, which is a whole step, to A, which is a whole step, to B, which is a whole step, and our last interval is from the B to the C at the top, which is a half step. So if you look at the intervals that make up the C major scale, it's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now keep in mind there's eight notes in the scale, but there's seven intervals, because each interval is made up of two notes. So. This is the pattern, the formula, the recipe, if you will, for any major scale. You can take this pattern, start on any key, and build a major scale. For example, we can do F. So, taking our pattern of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, which you should memorize, we are going to now build this major scale. Starting on F, I'm going to do a whole step, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So there you have an F major scale. You'll notice an F major scale is made up of all white notes except for a B flat instead of a B. So now you see that we can take this pattern of whole steps and half steps and build a major scale starting in any note. For example, I'm now going to do B flat. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And there's your B flat scale. you notice the B flat scale contains all white notes except for the E is flat and the B is flat. So there are three rules that you can use to check yourself and make sure you've built your scale correctly. Um, the first one is that if you start on a note, you will always end on the same note. You will always start and end on the same note. If you start on a B flat, you will end on a B flat. If you end up on a B natural, you did something wrong. The second rule is that you will never mix sharps and flats in a major scale. If you see that you have a D sharp and an E flat, for example, or a C sharp and a G flat, you've made a mistake and you didn't do something right, so you've got to go back and fix it. You will never mix sharps and flats, you will only have one or the other. And the third rule to check your major scale construction is that your scale will be what we call diatonic. Diatonic literally means across the tones, and in this case we're meaning that we have one of each note. You'll have an A, a B, a C, a D, an E, an F, and a G in every major scale. One and only one of each. Now it may be a something sharp or a something flat, not necessarily a something natural, but you will have one and only one. So if you end up with a scale that has both an F and an F sharp, you've made a mistake. If you end up with a scale that has no B or B flat or B sharp in it, you've You've made a mistake. So make sure you have one of each and that is how you can check your major scales. So just to review, your major scale is starting on any note, going in a pattern of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half with your half steps and whole steps. You will end up on the same note, you will not mix sharps and flats, and you will have one of each letter name in your major scale. If you can do that, you can now construct every major scale on the piano and there are 12 of them because there are 12 keys on the piano. Okay, so now you know the rules, we're going to do one more just to review. We're going to do D major scale, so we're going to start on D. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So again, I started and ended on D. I had a D, an E, an F sharp, a G, an A, a B, a C sharp, and a D, so I got one of each. And I didn't mix sharps and flats. I had an F sharp and a C sharp, I had no flats. So that is a properly constructed D major scale. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you guys next week.